go on to the next um topic and the next topic is trenches news Let's talk about this goofy ass internet shit, man that we all on and we are right now can currently participating in this is what i know about the internet my, my nigga this is some police ass shit, man straight up listen i was telling my homeboy this the other day right this motherfucking internet is, is is so police that listen in my day when your ass did shit or something happened the police had to actually do work meaning like yeah the police had to come out try to find people that tell get statements from people and do different things to try to get people to tell this is why it was like the no snitching policy right because the police never helped you they only showed up at your door if they wanted some information about something it's like man i'm not helping this white boy you don't even come around here now you around here and want to know who shot little ray ray nigga fuck you we ain't got no statements right so that's what you would hear the no snitching um phrase being held at and being held to by communities of people that was either civilians or not civilians because the police didn't fuck with us the police only came around when they wanted to capture somebody and everybody went with helping them capturing people in these times times have changed right the police don't have to do nothing now but somebody got shot they go online they go look at people direct messages they um they don't even have to do nothing but get on social media they don't even have to leave a house back then they would have to go into communities where nobody knew them and knock on doors and they would get rejected they do not even have to leave their house and go to the office to spy on people and get the information they need to lead to a grand jury an indictment and an arrest they don't have to do shit no more man so if you are in criminal activity or doing crimes and you ain't on social media they not fucking with you yeah because they got everybody on social media willing to commit crimes and do crimes making their job easier you think a motherfucking detective or you think a narcotics officer is gonna go ride around in his car looking for people selling dope no that's what they used to have to do they not riding around looking for the people that selling dope they they surfing the net <laughs> they on the internet looking for people that selling the dope they are no longer riding their car trying to find the spots and trying this they are right on the internet looking for people that sell dope they patrol the internet now they don't patrol the streets yeah and this is where all the activity at this is where the majority of their cases and convictions come from is the internet all right that's a new landscape that's a whole new perspective for somebody like me that's coming up in the that came up in the streets i understand that now right i'm like well damn the internet shit, damn them motherfuckers don't even got a patrol nigga. yeah i can't tell you the last time we used to know the officers on patrol we knew when they worked when they got off they kind of knew us because you had to be active you had to be outside you had to be around to know that now nah, you don't even know the officers they don't know you and if your ass don't, ain't on social media they don't care right so that's the landscape now of new policing and um the streets it's through internet all this stuff is happening all this stuff is current making the police job way easier point blank period remember back in the day there'll be like the feds is watching and the feds would have to ride in cars and take pictures y'all remember the mob that oh that's the feds they taking pictures they they following you they taking pictures they not doing that no more the feds got your phone the feds got the internet they not doing that no more man who, who is that in that car man i think that's the fit it ain't that no more nigga. they logging in looking at your ass i hope i'm making the right analogy here right so y'all can understand ain't no more feds watching the feds are watching all the time now it is all recorded at any time they could come get you for anything right this is what you got to understand if you've been through police investigations if you've really been through these kind of struggles and these kind of situations this goddamn court of opinion called the internet is the fucking courtroom in the police room these people no longer leave the precinct to patrol the fucking area 
They don't have to do that no more. Now, I'm saying that to say uh, that's where policing has went to and that's where it's at. And that's where the majority of the case is at. The Internet is the new streets, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. They are on this motherfucker all day, every day patrolling to put people in jail. But this is where it get interesting at, right? This is where this shit get very, very interesting at, right? And this is why when I'm on here, I don't try to tell street stories too much, right? I give y'all a little bit, but I'm a little leery about telling street stories. I'm a little leery about interviewing people that I know from the streets, right? I'm a little leery about all that stuff because I don't want no point in time my content or my conversation to be used in any investigation, right? So if I'm bringing people up and I'm interviewing people from the 90s, right, I don't want retired officers or new officers looking at this and trying to piece together cases or piece together things from the past. I'd rather the past be the past, right? And a lot of homies, a lot of people like we need to interview, we need to do this, we need to do that. You know what I'm saying? The interviews that I have done, like I seen, they more from business people, right? That I know and business stuff because I'm a little leery about the street stuff, man. I just don't want to, um, to be honest, personally, I don't care, right? I do not care. I know it is a source of entertainment, but on the flip side, I don't want motherfuckers to, um, use my content as a way to put people in jail kind of like you see with the key keefy d thing right with him talking about the tupac stuff my nigga they was waiting for that shit to go on and that shit to happen right so i don't want people to put together crimes or put together information based on what's displayed on the internet through my channel i don't want that motherfuckers waiting for me to talk about certain shit wish i would bring up certain names wish i was i'm not doing that shit I, fuck that shit. I'm CEO Hockley. I sell shirts every day. This is what we do every day. This is what we always been doing. Yeah, that that's how I lead that. I'm not eager to prove to y'all my past. Fuck my past. Yeah, my past got niggas in jail, got me in jail. I don't give a fuck about my past. Fuck my past. So that's why if a nigga play, I would kick a nigga ass. They could do a police investigation. On me whooping a nigga ass off the internet but that other shit i'm not bringing up in the discussion but the game and change now you got people that have been doing interviews that's never a part of the streets right that that's never a part of the streets who look at who look at our past investigations our past history as entertainment they look at this shit as views right you got these real tune niggas specifically i'm calling names you got these real tune niggas who want that street shit up there or want that prison shit up there to be talked about in the manner in which this shit is celebrated right in which okay so what's this so you you got all these look these vlad tv niggas right you got all these little broke ass niggas right who would who will sell information who will sell anything like i say I y'all think real tune? I buy real tunes channel right now, nigga. That nigga ain't making no money, and that ain't no disrespect to him. I'm just speaking on the mentality of the people running these channels, and I'm using him as an example. Nigga is so desperate to get money, right, and to have a career, right? That nigga don't give a fuck about the content. Nigga don't give a fuck about what you talking about. Nigga don't give a fuck about where you stay. Nigga don't give a fuck about what you got going on. Nigga only give a fuck about them views going up, right? And when I, as me being a content creator, I'm looking at the views and I'm looking at the hustle. I'm like, damn, nigga doing a lot of shit for a couple grand. You understand what I'm saying? Nigga doing a lot of shit for a couple grand a month. And I'm like, that's a lot of goddamn work, right? But they say I'm being a journalist or I'm reporting. Nah, nigga, you scavenging. That's what the fuck you doing. And scavenging is a hustle. But your bitch ass is scavenging. And you gonna fuck around, get some niggas in trouble. Or better yet, get some niggas hurt. But you fine with that, right? Because that shit make you look cool, right? And I'm using this analogy for all them, all them bullshit bloggers. Them all the same niggas. I won't give a fuck 
I just said real tune, but you can put all them niggas in the same motherfucking pot. Do you hear what I'm saying? And what we what, what we finally got is proof that one of them in Chicago, right, was working with the police for real. A little broke ass nigga who don't want to be a teacher like real to a nigga that don't want to have a real job, a real career, but want to come on the Internet, a clout chasing ass nigga, right, that told fucking um, Chicago street stuff and was reporting there was a journalist was paid to fucking work with the police on a murder case. Listen, he was paid $25,000. Not at one time, over a period of time, they gave a nigga $1,000. And this nigga worked with him over 50 occasions while his channel was steady going up in views, while he was steady interviewing people. He thought he was just getting money and being a baller. They was giving this bitch ass nigga grand here, 1100 here, this and that, and that nigga thought he was hustling as he was selling people out, right? Because the shit that he's talking about, the shit that he's reporting on, ain't got nothing to do with him. This shit ain't got nothing to do with him. This shit ain't got nothing to do with these niggas, my nigga, but these niggas are reporting on this shit in a manner in which they keep it active and keep it going so they could be cool and they could get views, right? And now this nigga, fuck six nine working with the law. We, we already got a hip hop, well, hip hop artist. The main hip hop artist will work with the police and tell on the whole group. Now we got proof in hip hop, a fucking blogger. One of these bullshit, real money in the room ass, broke ass, school teacher ass niggas, right? Will take payments. Do you hear what I'm saying? To give all these niggas up or anybody up. And do it in the name of content, nigga. And do it in the name of clout, nigga. And the nigga ain't shame no more. Nigga ain't even tripping. It is what it is. He ready to get another check and put niggas in jail. And he ready to do another interview with niggas, right? And I know I'm going a little long, but I'm trying to point that shit out to y'all. So when I come on here as a nigga that been through it, I understand that. But I could point out the bullshit. That's why I'm like, nigga, Trey 600, what you want for that bullshit channel, nigga? Getting you seventeen hundred dollars a month if you suck Percy dick for all day every day, nigga. They paying you seventeen hundred to suck dick, nigga. What the fuck is that? But well, nigga, you supposed to be getting ten grand. Come fuck with CEO. I will get you only fans, nigga. <laughs> yeah, for real, nigga. And I'm saying these niggas act like this is they. I mean, y'all gotta understand this is these niggas' life, bro. And they will do anything. It's no mores, no rules, no nothing. Only to get that's Adam 22. Ah, looking at this bitch. I think them niggas gonna stop. This nigga Vlad, like, yeah, I helped put Keefe D in jail. I helped solve the Tupac case. That's what Vlad is saying. And y'all do not see the problem. Well, what, what's the problem, CEO? They just trying to make it. They just trying to do business. No, what you are looking at are people that are greedy. You are looking at people that do not care about nothing only but what makes them look good and what puts a little money in their pocket, my nigga. This is Judas. Y'all know about the Bible story, right? This is Judas. Judas fucking sold out Jesus for 50 pieces of silver. Listen, he sold out the son of God for 50 pieces of silver. Do you hear what I'm saying? And he didn't even spin it. That nigga was so depressed after they got Jesus. That nigga goddamn me hung himself on a tree, nigga. This is what I'm saying. These people are fucking sociopaths, right? If you look up that word, these real tune, these, these niggas is sociopathic ass niggas. These trenches news niggas are sociopathic ass niggas that only get excitement, enjoyment out them views going up. Nigga, if they get on that bitch and that bitch say 20,000 views, nigga, they don't give a fuck about a case or indictment or none of that shit, nigga. They get two fucks about any of that shit. You could get on that bitch and talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about with these niggas. And that's what the problem is, man. These niggas is parasite-ass niggas, man. Straight the fuck up. And now we got proof of this shit, right? These, this nigga trenches news 
is a fucking informant. And we finna get to that. All them niggas is informants, nigga. Ain't none of them niggas been through no shit like that. Because if they have, they will understand the repercussions of that, nigga. Yeah. Do y'all know what a fucking conspiracy... Listen. Do y'all know what a conspiracy case is in federal court? I don't think y'all understand what a what constitutes a conspiracy case in federal court. A conspiracy case is the government saying that you had the thought of doing something. I don't think y'all understand. A conspiracy case is the government proving you had the thought of committing a crime and they lock you up for it because they say, hey, you you did this interview or you was on the phone with this person and this gave you the thought and you had the intent to do this. They need no evidence. They need no evidence. I don't think y'all understand how many people are in federal prison for conspiracy cases. The whole fucking federal system is niggas in jail for conspiracy cases. I don't think y'all understand how serious that is. Yeah, they could get you whenever the fuck they want you because you ain't never been in those situations, nigga. That's how I know when y'all doing these interviews or y'all trying to talk or y'all doing this and that, y'all full of shit. Y'all ain't never really been through that shit because if you know anything you say could be used in a federal court system, they could put you in jail just for having the thought of it, nigga, you'll shut your fucking mouth, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You would you would shut your fucking mouth, nigga. Yeah, ain't no doubt about it. And like four for way, yo, speak on it. I can speak on it because I know, nigga. Yeah, I get phone calls from the federal prison every motherfucking day, nigga. But y'all on here, I, but y'all saying I'm clout chasing. Oh man, you ain't talk about real to nigga. Fuck them niggas, man. Yeah, them niggas do not give a fuck about nobody or nothing, nigga. Yeah, nothing, nigga. You think I done survived all this shit and came this motherfucking far for a bitch ass nigga to act? Oh, yeah, let me tell you about Murder Worth. I own Murder Worth. You own Murder Worth? Nigga, what? This nigga is proud to say he owns, right? Black folks' pain and black folks' misery, nigga. You own what? Something he had nothing to do. This parasite, these parasite ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but shit, it get views, it work. Nigga, that shit don't work like that with me, nigga. I see that in a whole di a whole nother light, nigga. It's like to say I own lynching. Yeah, 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 yeah. I own Fort Worth lynching, nigga. I'm the nigga that trademark Fort Worth lynching. Nigga, that's what you own, nigga. You own that. You using niggas to own that? Nigga, you need the brakes beat off your motherfucking ass. Nigga, and that CEO letting you know. Same way with Trace, bitch ass nigga telling me about snitching. Oh, yeah, such so, and such snitch, because he hear another bitch ass nigga on here talking about, yeah, you niggas is lost on his internet, homie. Yeah, you niggas need to go, you niggas is lost on hustling and on the internet and how this shit really works. In real time, nigga, at the end of the day, man, you niggas gonna be at zero with that shit. Yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. You niggas ass gonna be in zero. But y'all think it's a game. You know what I'm saying? And see, I ain't coming on here playing by nobody rules. I don't give a fuck because I done went through it and a nigga done survived that shit. So, so you can't convince me with that shit. Try to convince yourself with that shit, nigga. Yeah, use a hoe because I said so. <laughs> yeah, over here with me. And you may feel the same way about me. That's cool. I don't give a fuck, though. But you can't convince me nothing else, nigga. You can't. I'm a flame. You a candle, nigga. Yeah. That's all it is to it. <laughs> yeah. Straight like that. That's how that shit work. But but let's get, let, let, let's get rolling and get to this information. Because, see, this shit here tells the truth about these niggas, man. Who these niggas really are. And where these niggas really stand, man. Right here. Popular blogger, journalist, whatever these niggas want to call themselves, however they want to put that shit on themselves. 
active police informant. Nigga, look at this nigga ass. This what all you niggas doing on or off the clock, whether the police paying you or not, nigga. It's a popular Chicago blogger. Trenches News was exposed by the government as a long-term informant. Trenches News, he got over 100,000 subscribers. We talking about a channel with over 100,000 subscribers. You know how lit that is, y'all? Oh, yeah, we on Trenches News, turn into Trenches News. Whole time, this nigga is reporting to the slave catchers, my nigga. Whole time, the slave catchers pay him to give information on what the slaves are doing. This is put in that context. The whole motherfucking time, this is police work, my nigga, to take people freedoms. Y'all ain't had y'all freedom took, so y'all wouldn't understand that, right? Y'all ain't had y'all freedom took, so y'all wouldn't understand that. Yeah, the government, his employer, exposed him. Bam, it's a, a blogger focused on the lewd underbelly of Chicago's drill rap culture has been paid nearly $25,000 to co cooperate with federal authority, author, authorities investigating the killing of rapper FBG Duck. And an FBI agent told jurors Monday, Mattel Wiley, whose Trenches News YouTube channel has over 114,000 subscribers, is expected to testify this week at the trial of six men charged in a brazen attack at the Gulf Coast in August 4th, 2020. There was widespread speculation in the rap bloggers field that Wiley had violated the no snitch street code and was identified in court records as cooperative number one, who prosecutors say provided information about the old block faction of the black disciples and that's at the center of the news and uh, of the murder and racketeering case this is what they put up this is in the newspaper star witness mass blogger come on man come on man let's quit playing man let's stop it man Let, let's quit playing and I, i'm not saying I'm not saying these people are going to stop, right? It's out the bag. It, it, it ain't going to stop. What I'm saying, let's stop it. Let's stop calling it something it ain't, my nigga. Let's call this shit what it is, my nigga. This police work. Yeah, the whole internet is police work. Yeah, what, what CEO Hockley doing is police work. All this shit on the internet is police work. Because the police don't have to go out no more and do nothing. All this shit is police work. That's it. It's all documented, recorded. It's all put on here. It's police work. Okay, so when we understand that this is police work, why are we playing trying to get people locked up? Why are we playing trying to ask people these questions that, that we know may offend somebody else that may get them to ride down on what? Why are we instigating and starting all this shit? And when the po do y'all think if the police show up to real tombs, right? I'm talking about a police investigation, a Trey Six Hundo, a Loco, or Pico, or, or anybody. If you think the police show up, put a nigga ass in the car, and take a nigga ass to the precinct, right, for investigations on situations, or put any pressure on anybody that never been in this situation. You don't think niggas going to have information? You don't think niggas is going to tell what they know? And then niggas say, well, I ain't snitch on nobody. I ain't went to court. I ain't did this. That's that's what I'm saying. You, you, ain't, you ain't been in the trenches of that shit to understand that shit, bro. That shit is for real. This is how I know you're going to talk. Because one... Motherfucker pick you up and say anything about investigation, you got to talk to my attorney. Whether you have one or not, there's nothing to be said. The minute you get to asking them questions, well, well what's this about? Well, um, I, no, I didn't know. There you is. There you is. They done played on your anxiety and they done got you to talk, bro. 
because y'all ain't been in them 72 hour investigations y'all ain't had to deal with that different stuff and the only thing not knowing the only way to get out of here is not to say nothing and to leave this alone and let these people talk to the lawyer they don't they, ah, come on bro quit playing let's stop it let's stop it we could bullshit all day every day but let's stop it nigga like i ain't never called the police you probably didn't but you ain't never been picked up by the police neither yeah you ain't never been picked up by the police neither and them niggas y'all over them niggas and fold the nigga and pop that nigga with shit out all these niggas is this internet shit is all police shit. I just want y'all to know that I ain't gonna drag the topic on no no longer. I think I pretty much made my point. You know what I'm saying? It's understood and the shit ain't gonna stop. What I'm saying is I'm not trying to stop it. Yeah, I ain't trying to say the motherfucking word. I don't give a fuck about this stopping, nigga. What I'm saying is this right here. Let's call that shit what it is, nigga. Yeah, all this internet shit is police work, nigga. Point blank, end of discussion. That's what the shit is. Next motherfucking topic, nigga. Stay away from these bitch ass, starving ass bloggers who will do anything for a couple of dollars. Nigga, pay these niggas a hundred dollars. Don't put no ten thousand dollars on the table. These niggas will kill a mama, nigga. Yeah, these niggas ain't had a ten thousand dollars at one time. These niggas ain't never had that in their motherfucking life. Closest they came was a five thousand dollar COVID check, nigga. But to put ten thousand dollars on the table in one time. These niggas will turn to women, nigga. They'll go to they'll go through the transplant and get a vagina if you give these niggas ten thousand dollars, nigga. And that's just the absolute actual factual truth, man. But like I say, I digress. That's why I get off at man. Next topic.